right, there's my ID. Gandhi once said, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. According to PETA, 85% of fur in the industry are from animals who were captive on fur factory farms where they were crammed into severely crowded, filthy, wiry cages and later spent skinned alive. In what world would this be okay? In the U.S., it is very common. I know I am not the only person who feels that this is a wrongful act and it should be addressed. Animals deserve the same respect because they are living beings and are capable of suffering and feeling pain. They don't deserve to be treated like they are not living beings. When, and when these animals are led into the wild, more, prog more problems are subject to arise. Animals end up being trapped and suffer from blood loss, shock, dehydration, frostbite, gangrene, and attacked by predators, just to list a few. So how can we address this problem? The first step in eliminating fur usage in fashion is becoming an activist. Speaking out, educating, and donating are the basic steps in fighting for animal rights. Mom, you may wonder what quality organizations you can donate to and be a part of. People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, better known as PETA, is a great organization to be a part of. On their website, PETA.org, there is very useful in, there is a very useful page completely dedicated to becoming an activist. Honestly, it doesn't get much easier than that. It gives you an overview of PETA and what they do. Like it tells you they are founded on the premise that animals are not ours to use for clothing, experimentation, or entertainment. And then it then gives a link to their guide to effective advocacy. Now, Sue, you may wonder how this fashion trend could ever be replaced and how its originality can be maintained. There are actually many alternatives for using fur in fashion. The Association for the Protection of Fur-Bearing Animals gives explicit alternative uses for fur. For starters, there are many brands, including the brand Hoodlam, that uses synthetic materials for technical purposes. Another brand, Vote Couture, offers completely animal-free and eco-friendly coats made from textiles, including organic cotton. There are also many companies that sell absolutely no real fur items. Patagonia, Vote Couture, and Mountain Equipment Co-op are among these. Patagonia even donates 1% of their sales to grassroots organizations. Some may believe that animals are inferior to humans, but they must understand the pain and suffering these animals go through when they are used for human fashion. In fact, many of these animals don't even survive. With that being said, I urge you to take a stand and to not buy from companies who use animal fur, donate to quality organizations, and become an activist and get the word out. These animals don't deserve the pain they're being put through and no one should feel satisfaction from wearing real animal fur.